if you're looking for a fun way to spend some time with the kids during school vacation week, we'll head to Providence Children's Museum. Here to tell us about all the fun exhibits that you can experience as a family is Carolyn Payson. Good morning and welcome back to the Roadshow. Thanks. Good morning, Michaela. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, this is um, a, a bright light for a lot of folks who have been wanting to go back to the museum. I know you've had to make some adjustments because of the pandemic, but you are open school vacation week. What do we need to know? Sure. Um, although exhibits are generally closed to the public and will be probably until summer, we do want to acknowledge that, you know, we still are safe and clean and a wonderful place for families to play when we can. So we've been popping open during school vacation week. So we're excited to be open during April vacation week, starting on April 19th to the 23rd. So what are some of those exhibits that we can experience when we do come, when we do come during that week? So when people come, they'll be able to come and see their old favorites. So waterways will be there, which we know is almost everybody's favorite. Sometimes it's their first stop, depending on how wet people get, or sometimes it's yeah. their last stop. So waterways will be open. Our coming to Rhode Island exhibits, which kind of take you through Rhode Island history, um, as well as, you know, the garden will be open and looking beautiful. So we're excited to have, you know, everybody's old favorites open. One of the differences will be people will need to register in advance. Okay. Um, we'll, but we're excited to have three sessions a day and due to state regulations, we'll be able to open those up a little bit more. So I think we'll, you know, happily be able to accommodate everybody who wants to come. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. And you're also offering ways for families to get involved and to experience that play through some new channels. Right, absolutely. So um, we have been doing lots of work when the exhibits have been closed to make sure we are playing with people and staying connected to people. And there's a lot of opportunities for that. So one of them is um, we're offering families the ability to connect with us on several levels. Um, people can rent the museum for birthday parties and private events, and we're happy to have people back. But if you're not able to come in, we are doing monthly um, kits. So this month for April, it's a tie-dye kit, and you can go on our website and see. And sometimes they're holiday-related, and sometimes they're just, they are sort of based on some of the arts and crafts materials you know, experiences that people have in the museum. Um, and I love tie-dye. I perked right up once you said that. Yeah, that was very cool. Um, and for and it's an extra bonus for parents, you can not only take home a kit, but for a slight extra charge, you could take home a cocktail or a bottle of wine so the parent can have their own little respite while um, their child is making something cool. Yeah. Um, we're also partnering with Ride in ways that are new for us and super exciting. We're doing online courses that are free for kids who go to public schools in Rhode Island. And oh. um, if people go on our site, they can learn more about them. And in those classes, we're taking the experiences that you might have had coming and making something something at the museum or participating in a program and being able to do it online we're also working with teachers across the state who are writing lesson plans that will soon be on our new website um, so that teachers across the state can have a play experience and connect their kids to the museum all great things to look forward to um, speaking of looking ahead in august we should be marking our calendars because hopefully by then too things are you know just opening up more and more and you have a great event coming up no, absolutely. Um, people, I'm sure by then things will be even going better than they are now. And we are bringing back our golf tournament, which is one of our major fundraisers, which is always the first Monday in August. Mm -hmm. And we'll be excited to be bringing that back after a year's pause. And um, again, welcoming people to have that chance to help the museum out. It's been a hard year for lots of people, including um, us at the museum. And, you know, we're happy to be being back, going back and fundraising so that we can, you know, go on for another 43 years. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and so many of us have such fond memories of going to the museum. Is the is the big chair lady still there? Please tell me she's. The big chair lady is there wearing a mask right. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So she's socially distancing. Um, people can't <laughs> climb on her yet, but and she's wearing a mask, so she's doing everything. Her name is Estrella, mm -hmm. and she's doing everything that she's supposed to. Well, we want to make sure that she sticks around and the museum just as much. So taking part in an event like the golf tournament is one way to do that. Carolyn, thank you so right. much. Super helpful. Yeah. Um, the golf tournament or, you know, people can always go on our website and donate as well. Perfect. And we're actually going to put a link to your website on ours. So if folks want to book their appointments for school vacation, we've booked those time slots up. We'll post plenty of information that they need to know. Just head on over to roadshow.com.